So this is gonna be the final video for the Ruxu battery issues that I have encountered. I've been on and off the phone with Ruxu for the last couple hours, and they want to apologize for all the shortcomings in the, what they call new design. They said that this is a new BMS design, and they said they were very sorry that there are four wires going in and five wires going out. They also apologized that the balance cable came out, and they said that they're going to tape and glue it from now on. They also said that they are sorry that there is no barrier between the BMS and the battery, just as in the old design with this huge fiberglass plate. They also said that the low temperature cutoff costs too much to add, but I've talked about that before and they are still saying that they do not have another BMS manufacturer, so there's not gonna be a low temperature cutoff in the new design. They also apologize for the bad foam placement on the newer battery versus the old. The old was organized tight, it was glued together. The new one, it was like slapped in there, it did not look orderly. And so they said that they're sorry. And then they told me that they made 20 units of this new BMS battery version. And then they told me that they will return any battery in the next three years if anybody has a problem with them. And they did not tell me or anybody else that they were changing the design or any of these other problems with the new design, like the foam, the balance cable, the barrier, all of the other problems that we mentioned previously. And so what they're going to do now is they're not going to use their new BMS. They said after watching the video and blah, 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 that they're gonna use the old BMS instead. And they also said that these have the same capabilities, but I did not test them, so I cannot verify and I did not claim that but I'm gonna test this because I just wanna use this thing anyways. It's huge. I might as well test them and test this one out as well and see how much they can push. I am not going to post my opinion on these YouTube videos anymore because I don't wanna get sued, but man, this just makes me feel so mad. <laughs> God. Uh, so that's what they told me and I have it all in writing here in the text message thing and it was a couple hours of going back and forth but I'm not, all I can do is not recommend things. So I'm pulling this from the website and that's all I can do. She said that she's gonna ship me out a new one and I can inspect it and see how well it works. And I kind of want to see what they do. I'm, of course I'm gonna let that in. Maybe we'll have a part four to this series. And we also talked about the low temperature disconnect because I was like, okay, you guys do not have it and everybody else on the market does. Your battery is $100 cheaper, but why can't you find a way to add it to your BMS? And they said that they've had the same manufacturer for the BMS for a very long time and they trust them, blah, blah, blah but they do not have low temp cutoff. And I told them, if you wanna be competitive, it needs to have that because everybody else has that. It's very, very important. And then we just talked back and forth. It didn't really get anywhere. So I want you guys to take from this what you want. I have it all in writing. I am trying to be as objective as possible. I just show you what I see. And when I see a big difference like this, you know, I start making videos and I'm like, all right, is this all right? I don't know, guys, is this, is this smart? And honestly, I just want to get on to the next project. I feel like they're becoming drama videos and it keeps going back and forth and I'm curious what will happen, but I want to teach you guys and I want to build stuff. I don't want to sit here and argue with companies and put myself in a position of liability. I hate making videos like this, but when I actually recommend something and they change it, I have to tell you guys. There is no way I would not tell you this. And that's very important. I couldn't sleep at night if I had these on my website and I knew that they swapped out components and they didn't tell me at all. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing on my end. I would love to hear what you guys have to say, but after this, I don't wanna talk about it at all and I wanna focus on new batteries and see you know, how they're different and what technologies we will have. And that's pretty much it. And I promise that this channel is not gonna be just complaining and trying to critique. I don't like to do it. Actually with the Safari LT, I tried my hardest not to, but then like these problems kept popping up and I started getting, and I started freaking out. I was like, come on guys, I'm trying really hard, but man, these things tick me off so much. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching, bye.